close your eyes and put aside everything else. You're going to be with nothing but the breath. Try to be loyal to the breath. It's been coming in, going out for you. Even when you're asleep and you abandon responsibility, the breath is still chugging away. So give it some attention. After all, it is the force of life. And see what kind of breathing feels good. So if the breath feels good, it's going to be good for the body, good for the mind. And because it's always there, as long as you're alive, you're breathing in, breathing out, the Buddha says this is a good place to stay. We travel around. We can go around the world several times just in the blink of an eye. But we leave the body behind, and it's not being cared for. It's like the house that the owner leaves. After a while, insects come in, then other pests come in, mold comes in, sometimes the pipes break, sometimes gas leaks come, and there's nobody there to look after it. At the same time, the owner is left out wandering around without any shelter. So you want to bring the body and the mind together. So you can see what's going on, both in the body and in the mind, and the mind gets some protection. You look after the body, look after the breath, make sure the breath feels good coming in, feels good going out. It's like looking after your house. And at the same time, you're giving yourself a good place to stay, a safe place to stay. You're protected from all kinds of things outside. So take this time to get to know the body as well as you can here in the present moment. Because that way both the body and the mind benefit. We use the mind all day long, but we don't care for it well. We let it sleep at night, but that's all. That's resting, but it's resting without any mindfulness, without any alertness. And when there's no mindfulness and alertness, there's no real chance to gain any understanding. It's when you meditate like this and you begin to see the mind in action, and you understand this is how it leaves one thought and goes to another thought. You begin to see why it would leave one thought to go to another thought. Sometimes it's just a lapse of mindfulness. Sometimes it's because something else comes barging in. And you look at the different stages, and this way you get some control over your mind. As the Buddha said, one of the purposes of the meditation is to think the thoughts you want to think and not think the thoughts you don't want to think. And our problem is that whatever comes up, we just go running with it. And as a result, we don't have enough energy left to deal with things we really do have to deal with. So here's a chance to rest and to get to know the mind, to understand the mind. So clear everything else out. All the insects, all the pests, and everything that come into the body, clear them out. If the body, excuse me, if the mind has been outside wandering around in the sun and the rain, well, give it a chance to bathe and rest. And then you can do the work that needs to be done. <laughs>